Hey yo, what's up everybody? This video is a quick guide to show you how to beat this pompous, arrogant, full Raphael, which is probably the toughest fight in the game. <laughs> then hope dies today. Um, no it doesn't. <laughs> so before the fight even starts, you wanna have everyone in your party have fire resistance and position them so that there's Spread out some. You don't want to get targeted by some devastating AOE attacks if Raphael gets any of them off. Once the fight starts, the first thing you want to do, which is the first thing you should do in every fight in this game, is inspect your enemies and environment. Let's take a look at Raphael first. You'll see that he has very high saving throws on everything except wisdom. He truly is a fool. Notable features down here, he's got dark vision, devil sight, so he can't be blinded by darkness. Fiendish Blessing, AC Bonus, Inevitable Resolve, which says that effects that control or incapacitate only last one turn against this being of pure infernal ambition, which is not really true because the strategy I use did incapacitate or control him, I would say. I don't know exactly what they mean, but I'm not sure about that one. So let's move on to the next. Infernal Retribution, which... Will set you on fire if he saves against your spell effect. Standard magic resistance and opportunity attack. And then you have Soul Pillar Proximity and Soul Reaper. Now Soul Reaper you don't really have to worry about unless someone dies and is resurrected. Then they get a debuff. Which if you follow the strategy shouldn't happen. The one you want to focus on is Soul Pillar Proximity. For each pillar his attacks deal an additional 1 to 12 fire damage, and he has a plus 3 bonus to his dexterity checks and saving throws. We don't want to take an extra 4 to 48 fire damage on his attacks, so uh, let's take a look at these pillars. Raphael can absorb souls from them to fuel powerful magic attacks. Trust me, you don't want to get hit by those attacks. They are very strong. They do stupid damage. You'll see that the pillars are vulnerable to bludgeoning and force damage, and that's good to know. So right off the bat, you want to destroy the pillars as quickly as possible, preferably in two or three rounds. A disintegrate scroll or artistry of war or really anything that does a lot of force damage or blunt damage is very effective in destroying the pillars. You definitely want to destroy at least one on the first turn because that will apply a debuff to Raphael, keep him out of the fight for a few turns. His relatively low wisdom saving throw makes him susceptible to some debilitating effects. So you want to try to apply one of those as soon as you can. I used fear on him which disabled him for two turns and doesn't require concentration. But you could also use hold monster or Otto's irresistible dance then cast sanctuary on whoever cast it. So they'll have no problem maintaining concentration. You should also cast Sanctuary on Hope while she focuses on healing. She's an extremely powerful healer and will help you survive the fight, no problem. While you have him disabled, focus on destroying the pillars and slaying his minions. You can use Hope to banish two of his minions, one of which you should use on your gear. If you can't convince him to join your side, which I couldn't because the character had no charisma. You overestimate your abilities. You could banish two more enemies if you use her Divine Intervention ability that has the Long Rest effect. After you destroyed all the pillars, Raphael will permanently go into his Ascended form. But with no souls to power devastating spells and no minions to help, all he has is a melee attack. Keep healing with hope and wail on that fool Raphael until he goes down. Well, that's it for this guide on how to beat this fool Raphael. Let me know down in the comments of any cool strategies that you use to beat him. And thanks for watching and I'll see you later. What a wonderful jibble.